Our celebrity guest today, he's an actor, he's a comedian, and he's also a radio presenter. Now, if you have never been to a radio studio before, don't go away as we join you in Wazobia FM Studios doing his thing. Check it out. 95.1 was so BRFM now we just still this so on another level now saying that old school level. Um, in case you don't know my name now yo 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 I be actor I be produce I be do voiceover I be presenter now I don't taste small too in case you don't know 95.1 was so BFM this one not the song of Sir Victor Owaifo Bros this one a heavy bros no be I'm just doing stuff with BBC there's a radio drama called Story Story um I started off there acting a particular character called AGK so from there, um, I came with a friend to this place and um, they told him, hey, we're about starting a pigeon radio station. I said, okay, as an actor, why not? Yeah, I can sing it. Let me just try it out. Somebody call my name. Shockey. People, they call him my name. Shockey. That is okay, you come back again. Me come again, that you me come back again. Papa yes, sir. They hold them down. Aha! Now the pigeon star now they do our thing. Now that the shoki now be dance. You sabi the dance. In case you know sabi, make I show you as that the shoki they dance. You are free. New style Dolly Two on Wazopia FM. Yes, so 95.1 was OBFM turned out rich, make with pieces the thing again, make una coherent for your ear will not day. Um our news strictly in a pigeon too. And um we get people with your list reading news. So you go see news for pigeon. Surprise thing, you don't go believe the thing are for English then the right time. But our people them here, they go come pieces, the team, pig six, um look me, I love my work. I know they take your work play at all at all. So you wait there if you don't love your work, sorry. Yo. Everybody put your hands together for your <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yo Yes How are you doing today? Oh boy, I fine no. Look at me, <laughs> fine boy. Look at all the audience just going crazy over you. How does that feel? Yeah, man, um I want to say it's the grace of the most high. Believe me, um there's nothing like hard work. When you work, definitely you get to a particular point in your life and um you definitely see the result. Okay, so you're talking about your character as, a, as an actor. Yeah. You've had some very, very famous, very funny mm. characters, like yeah. Callistus. Okay. Okay, so is there anything in Callistus that you got from your personal life? Like, is there any relationship between your no, and really. Callistus? not really. Callistus stammers. Okay, I want to hear that. I really want to hear that. Um, <laughs> how, how do the Oh, uh, how do you want me to talk? Uh, 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 fantastic! Radio doing my thing, that's cool. all. Cool, I think it's fantastic. I yeah. think you're doing very well. Thank you. So I want to get a little bit personal now. Tell us about your family and how they related to the, you know, your being a radio presenter, an actor, and a comedian. In the beginning. Okay, in the beginning, yes. it wasn't easy growing up. Number seven out of ten kids. And my papa bomb picking in, try. <laughs> Go and multiply. He obeyed the commandment. <laughs> Go ye and multiply. So my papa multiply. Ten. Wow. But you know easy for wow. us. You know, you know easy for us. And um, my mom never wanted me in entertainment. Even when I got admission to do diploma theater at Lasso, my mom specifically told um, the school authorities not to yeah. give me, not to allow me study. Because she said, artists are wayward people, according to her. So, um, but I continued afterwards. And all that time, having to sell at Yaba Market, sell ice water at Yaba Market. Not pure water, you know. Ice, ice water, water, that's different. Yeah, certain cobble on. <laughs> certain cobble, ice water. Having to sell at Yaba Market, having to, to be a conductor, having to sell oranges, having to... I just believe that all these things are just part of what, what makes yeah. one. Okay. Um, where you're going to, you focus, you yeah. know where you're going to, and definitely you get there. Okay. That's just what I believe in. Okay, I got it. Yeah. From the mouth of your... So, your, um, how was your born, the brand your? Because mm. your is more than just a name now, it's a yeah. brand. How was it born? I started off, you know, started off with um, 
flatmates. A lot of people used to watch flatmates. And from flatmates, I jokingly, one day during recording, I just said, wow, Papa Man, yo. Just jokingly. And it stuck. Yeah. Even after doing it the first time, you know, when, when you're recording, you do take one, you do take two. For take two, I forgot what I said for take one. Believe me, they had to rewind it. And Kai De Peters told me, he said, ah, I like that the way you talk. Talk him again. And that's just it. I just kept on saying it all through, throughout the recordings and all that. Every time I go out, people will not say, because Owawu Popo Men is long. Mm -hmm. So, so people will just say, yo. Okay. They'll just say, yo, yo, yo. Mm -hmm. So when I went to the radio, I actually went with a friend to the radio station, Bumi Davis. Yeah. We got there. They told him that they're about to start a pigeon radio station. I was okay. doing some stuff with the BBC yeah. then. So um, I now told him, I said, Bumi, I actually spoke in Europe. I said, you yeah. mind that it shouldn't be you. Uh -huh. If they will allow me to work as a freelance. He said, okay, let's just try. I told them, and they said, okay, bring your CV. Believe me, I'd never written CV in all my life. <laughs> I, never knew how to, I never knew how to write one. It took me four months to be able to write one. Put together. Finally, they called me. Wow. The day I went for the screening, see everybody wear suit, tie, and see them discussing. Did you go for a Glow interview last week? <laughs> I was there. Did you go for a Shell interview? My heart just they caught, say, hey! Interview experts. And, fantastic. And I was just there. I just oh, didn't know. Fantastic. I just fantastic. didn't know what to say. So I just wow. kept quiet. You won't believe it. When I got in there, they don't take any of them. It you only me then take. That was how it was it was born. That was just, just what I